Welcome to the Sticky Bites series by Steve and Nadim at Sticky Sales. In this Sticky Bites, you'll discover how to find your customer's pain point and why this should be your number one sales objective. Your job as a salesperson is to find your customer's pain point, earn his or her trust and solve it for them. Remembering those three points will stand you in good stead in the years to come. Treat every customer visit as though you're a consultant and not a salesperson. Your primary focus should always be to understand their pain points first before you step in with your proposition. Try to remember the three words, customer pain points, when assessing your prospect. This will embed your objective within yourself that's by uncovering their pain and directly addressing it with your solution, you're providing an immediate fix that will bond them to you in the future. A customer's pain point or decision-making driver usually falls within one of three criteria. One, enhancing their productivity and or efficiencies. Two, a need to save money. And three, a way of being more profitable. You must uncover the customer's pain so that you can save him. Remember, people first decide to buy based upon emotion, followed by logic. Let's take a look at how you can probe for pain and put yourself in a position to propose your solution. A. Strip it down to basics. You're there to fix the pain. Keep your approach simple and direct so that your customer's emotions are fully focused on the immediate issue. Don't talk about your company history, product features and benefits. Ask about the problems. B. Use open questions to probe. It may seem obvious, but don't use questions to which the answer could be a straight negative. Can I interest you in our services? Wrong. What's most important to you when choosing a supplier? Right. Preface your questions with who, why, what, where, and when. C. Personalize your follow-up question. When your customer answers your open probing question, respond by personalizing the issue so that his emotions are set on the fix or solution. How does that affect you personally? What would you like to accomplish personally? How important is this to you? Using this technique, you'll be able to reinforce the issue and align your solution, ready for the proposition and close stage, which we'll be covering in other Sticky Bites. So what are the most effective ways to probe your customer? Well, here are 25 examples of good, effective probing questions all taken from our book, Simple Sales for Superheroes. How long have you been here with your company? How are you organized within your department? What are your biggest challenges? How will these challenges affect you? What's changed most about your business in the last three years? What do your customers like most about your company? What problems have you been experiencing? How does that affect you financially? What financial considerations are the biggest headache for you? What longer term strategies have you set in place? What are the most exciting opportunities you have coming up? How will you measure if this is successful? What needs to change from where it is today? What would you like to accomplish? How is your competition reacting to what you do? Where did your company have a competitive advantage? If you had a magic wand, what results would you like to see? What's most important to you personally in resolving this issue? And why is that? How would you prioritize what you need? What conditions need to be satisfied for our companies to do business? What budget have you established? What's your time frame? What's most important to you when choosing a supplier? Other than yourself, who else would be involved in the decision to proceed? When can we sit down again to take this forward? We hope you found these tips useful. If you did, 
please leave us comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking here where you'll find tons of useful tips on sales, marketing and account management. Plus, check out our online sales training course at www.stickysales.co.uk as well as our best-selling book, Simple Sales for Superheroes, which can be found on Amazon. Thank you for listening and good selling.